Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. God is a faithful God. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Welcome everybody to Cosmos of Glory. And I hope that you've had a lovely day and your day has been great and not very stressful. Glory to God. Um, today we will be discussing about dreams, the mysteries of dream part two. Remember that um, some months back we discussed about dreams part one and I promise that one of these days I'm going to discuss part two briefly and this section is very very important. You'll be learning more about dreams and what to do when you dream. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the seed giver, the life giver of all galaxy, of all beings and all creation. Thank you, mighty one. I ask today that your word will come forth with precision and accuracy, with the anointing to transform and cause every hearer of mine to be doers of the word and not just hearers and also to manifest your glory in all aspects of their lives. Thank you, mighty, eternal spirit of the living God. You are welcome mightily into this place. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of Yeshua Amashiach. Thank you, Jesus. So, I'll try to be as brief as I can while you listen and get blessed you see um we talked about dreams in part one what dreams are we're not talking about the dream of aspiration i am discussing about the dream you had when you close your eyes in the night to sleep types of dream are being handled in part one is there on the channel if you want to know details but um today i would like to look at a particular chapter and a verse to make you understand um what is the priority in your dreams what do you look out for the night dreams when you close your eyes and then you sleep you begin to see animated events like pictures events you could be partaking in the dream by yourself you see yourself in the dream or you could be watching other people as the actors of the fit of the dream while you are just looking at them so and dream can come in various forms. You could see relatives in your dream. You could see even dead relatives in your dream. You could see yourself playing with water. You could see certain animals in a dream. I would like you to, to remind you that dreams are in symbols. Dreams are in symbols. Dreams represent things that come in symbolic times. So dreams are more symbolic. Okay? Dreams are symbolic. That you see a lion does not mean physically you're going to see a lion. If you see a cat in your dream, does not mean you're going to see a cat physically. And you could see yourself playing in the river, does not necessarily mean that um, you are inside the river. The river is a symbol. And this symbol also have to do with your consciousness, your thought pattern, your mindset. Okay? There are things that will be used to represent certain things in your dream for you because of what you believe. So dreams don't just come in the night just because God wants to just show you something. It also, God also put into consideration your thinking pattern before you have the dream that you have. Okay? For example, it is generally believed by many preachers and many people that when you dream seeing a dead person in the dream, it means that uh, the spirit of death is around you. That is relative. That is not completely accurate. Now, the person having that dream matters. If that person that had the dream had believed before that time that when I see a dead person in the dream, it could mean that the spirit of death is around me. Then, that channel can be used. That kind of pattern can be used to reveal that dream to the person and it will mean what it thinks okay that's the way dream functions it comes in symbols now somebody else might have the same dream of seeing maybe a dead relative 
and it will mean that the dead relative god used that symbol to reveal something to that person to reveal that something else will happen let me make it let me narrow down for instance if a, a man or x okay lost his mother and his mother used to be very close to him the mother represents happiness to him now and the mother has passed on then this guy slept in the night after many years and had a dream of seeing the mother it will likely mean that something good is about to happen to the person because the person mother represents source of joy and happiness that means happiness god could be revealing to the person the meaning of that dream could mean that god is trying to reveal happiness to the person another example is some people dream seeing themselves playing in the water and when you say this dream to some men of god or some people they will tell you ah marine spirits you have marine spirits that may not be exactly the truth you can still be playing with water or swimming and catching fishes and it will symbolize that you are about to hit you're about to enter into wealth or you're about to make certain kind of money or blessings coming your way so what i'm saying Nessa, is that the mindset you have affects your dream world it affects what the angels or god will use as a tool in communicating to you basically is to communicate to you to impact your spirit now if you want to know the benefits of dream types of dream and all those details we have them in part one you listen to that this become that becomes a prerequisite to this so now let me hit the core of the message today go to the book of jeremiah if you have your bible you can turn to the book of jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28 jeremiah i would like you to read that with me okay i wouldn't want to do it alone you turn your bible with me to jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28 so this will enable you to see the way there's the higher spiritual beings see things about our dream and the word of god because i want to focus on the mystery of connecting your dreams to the word of god and this will help you a lot to know how you categorize dream or compare dreams with the word of the living god jeremiah 23 verse 28 i'll read from here the prophet who has a dream let him tell a dream and he who has my word let him speak my word faithfully what is a chaff to the wheat says the lord please ensure you have a bible by you and you are looking at what i'm looking at reason for this is because many people have deceived other people and misguided them because of wrong and inaccurate interpretation of dreams so i'll read again jeremiah chapter 23 verse 28 the prophet who has a dream let him tell a dream are you hearing that so if a prophet dreams you tell a dream and he who has my word let him speak my word faithfully the last part what is the chaff to the wheat says the lord so here god is comparing dream and his word so if you have a dream it's a dream you can tell your dream you can interpret your dream but he now said the last segment part b what is a chaff the dream is like a chaff compared to the wheat the word the word of god is likened to to the wheat why the dream is likened to chaff why the word of god is supreme over any dream experience the word of god is higher than any dream experience psalm 138 verse 2 for he has magnified his word more than his name or put it this way for you have magnified your word above all your name all your name david said this by the inspiration of the holy spirit psalm 138 verse 2 for you have magnified your word above all your name the word of god is magnified above any name names here include symbols those symbols you are having their names you saw river you saw lion in the dream 
You saw Tiger in the dream. You saw snake chasing you. All of them are chaff compared to the living word of God. The word of God is supreme. The word of God is glorious. The word of God is higher. Remember the Bible said the name of Jesus is higher than every other name. At the mention of that name, everything in heaven, everything on earth, and everything in hell will bow to that name. But the Bible still tells you now that the word of God is exalted above all names. He said you are exalted your word above all your names. So the word of God is supreme. The word of God is higher. Dream is like a chaff. So he said he, he that he that has a dream, let him tell the dream. And he who has the word, let him speak the word of God faithfully. Speak the word with faith. It's higher than the dream. When you have a dream, speak the word. Whatever dream you have. Now, how do you interpret dreams? Easy way to know a good dream from a bad dream. When you have a dream that you wake up with fear and worry, suddenly you wake up, your atmosphere is full of fear. That dream is from the enemy. Whatever the dream is, is from the enemy. That is how to distinguish a dream that came from God and a dream that came from the devil. The devil is the master of fear. The Bible says there is one God and even demons know and they tremble. The tremble used, they said, there is one God, even the demons know, and they tremble. The demons tremble because it's their nature to tremble. They tremble in fear. Fear is a trait of darkness. It's a trait of the devil. Fear is the devil's nature. Fear is darkness. It's the devil's nature. Fear is demons' nature. They are the ones that are afraid. So whenever the devil is communicating, he communicates in fear. He communicates fear. When God is communicating, he communicates love. So when God gives you a dream, you don't wake up with fear. When Satan gives dream, he, you wake up with fear. Your atmosphere will be charged with fear. You know that the devil has come to show you something. So when you dream and your dream seems to be a bad dream, what we call bad dream, and you wake up and there's fear around you. God is not trying to show you what will happen. The devil is trying to program you for failure. So what you do, that is called a chaff. What you do, you take the word of God and superimpose upon that dream. That dream is trying to program you. Because when you woke up in fear and you begin to worry about it, you are giving life to that dream. You are the one bringing the dream to pass by your fear. It's like taking a chaff and trying to prepare a chaff and cook a chaff for yourself. So when you meditate in a bad dream, you are meditating on the dream, you are giving life to the dream. It will come to pass, if, even if it's a deadly dream, it's going to come to pass because you are the one giving life to it. When you have a chaff like that, superimpose the word of God. Your life, the human life, is to be programmed the way computers are programmed. When you have a software, or you have a, when you have a phone, or you have a laptop, or you have a tablet, you install program, you download program, either from Play Store or from iPhone Store. You download into your mobile phone, into your tablet, into your device, so that the device can behave in a certain way. Certain dreams are meant to download Satan's nature, to download failure in your life, to download disappointment, to download disappointment in all areas, either marriage, either finances, your business, and so on and so forth. Satan is trying to download and program you. So when you have that dream, it's a programming process. When you wake up, reprogram yourself. It is only the human being that can reprogram himself. That is why you are given a mind. That's why you are given the word of God. He said, do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. How do you renew your mind? You renew your mind with the word of the living God. 
He said, as we behold him as in a mirror, as we study the Bible as in a mirror, we are transformed. We are metamorphosed. We move from glory to glory. So you are programming yourself. The word of God programs you from glory to glory. It's the word of God that has the power to reprogram human beings. You can reprogram yourself for success. It is your responsibility to reprogram yourself. When you have a nightmare, you reprogram yourself with the word of God. So the Bible said, the prophet who has a dream, let him say the dream. And he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. For what is chaff to the wheat, the dream is a chaff. That bad dream you have, that nightmare is a chaff. But God's word is the living word that can program you for success. Say hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I can program myself for success. I can program myself for goodness. How do I do it, Pastor? Somebody may say, Pastor, how do I program myself? Yes, you can. By putting the word of God in your mouth, believing in your heart and speaking. The Bible said, he that believe in his heart and he speaks, he shall be saved. But those that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Put the word of God in your heart and in your mouth as you think the word of God. As you say the word of God, you are programming yourself for success. As you think the word, say it. As you say it, the angels of God, the Bible said they watch over the word of God to perform. The angels are watching. What is that sister going to say? What is that brother going to say? They are watching you. They are waiting to act the word. The angels, they watch over the word of God to perform. So speak the word and they will perform the word. The angels of God are mightier than demons. The angels of God are mightier than darkness. Speak the word of God and the angels will move over those words to create in your world. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord. Glory be to God in the highest. I can now program myself for success. I don't wait for the government. I don't wait for my uncle. I don't wait for my friends to program me. I can program myself by the Spirit of God. For if the Spirit of Him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in your body, He revitalizes you by the word of your mouth, my brother. By the word of your mouth, my sister. Program yourself for success. Do not be depressed. Don't look down and begin to, to complain. No, your complaint is a programming. Are you hearing me? When you complain, you are programming yourself for failure. You can't go saying, I don't know what is happening to me. I don't know how long I will be sick. I have been sick for many years. God didn't want to heal me. I have been down financially. God didn't want to bless me. We play the blame game. No, no, no. The same mouth you used to say that I am not making progress. You can say in the name of Jesus, my situation is not permanent. I am coming out of this, but it shall come to pass. It is written, when I pass through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. His rod and his staff, they will comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd. I will never be in lack. I will never be in need. He that watches over me does not sleep nor slumber. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give him. The Lord in me, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I refuse to be moved. I might look weak. My God is not weak. I might look poor. My God is not poor. He said, they look up and they were changed. They were transformed. I will look to my glory for my help coming from above. The maker of heaven and earth. Go ahead and put the word of God in your mouth. When you talk like that, God will say, oh yes, that is my daughter, Chinasa. That is my daughter. That is my daughter, blessing. That is my son, of Dora. That is my son, Samuel. That is my son. Oh, that is my daughter, Chichi. That is my daughter. I am proud of you. In the midst of darkness, you commanded light like me. God wants you to be like him. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Be ye imitators of God as his delivery of children. I repeat, Ephesians 5, verse 1. Be ye imitators of God as his belly beloved children. You are the child of God. You ought to talk like God. You ought to live like God. You are the child of God. You need to put the word of God in your mouth. When God created the earth, the earth became dark. The earth was empty. The earth was shapeless. God did not explain the earth darkness. God said, let there be light. And light came into being. Stop explaining your problem. Start talking the solution. 
Stop explaining your sickness. Start speaking healing. Stop explaining poverty. Start talking riches. Stop, 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 stop. Shout the shout of joy. For with joy, we draw from the wells of salvation. With joy, we draw from the well of salvation. Let your mouth chart the course of your destiny. Your dream is a chart. The reality is the word of God. Whatever you dream, what matters is the word. The word of God is highly exalted. More than any other thing. I don't know. I had a dream. I don't know what will happen. I dreamt that they buried me. Hey, I'm afraid I will die. No! For he gave his angels charge over me. Talk that way. With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation, the word of God said. Take that word I put in your mouth. Say, with long life, God will satisfy me and show me his salvation. That is not my portion. Ah, I cannot die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. The Lord is on my side. Yes, I may have sinned yesterday, but the Lord has washed me. The Lord has sanctified me. I am standing on the rock. The rock of the rock is Christ Jesus. I cannot go down. A city set upon the hill cannot be hidden. Put the word of God in your mouth. Say, I refuse to be programmed for darkness. I refuse to be programmed unto failure. Say, I refuse to be programmed unto sickness. I am blessed of the living God. My Father is with me. The Holy Ghost is in me. Hallelujah. I am making progress. I am making progress. Hallelujah. No dream can program me for backwardness. Talk that way. Live that way. That is my message for you today. My message is Jeremiah 23 verse 28. Your dream is a chaff compared to the word of God. Arise and put the word of God in your heart and in your mouth and exercise dominion. For God is with you. No power can program you for failure. You are connected to this altar, the altar of cosmos of glory, the altar of God. I pray for you today. You will never be programmed for failure. If anyone here has been programmed by the enemy to go backward, today I decree by the authority of the Most High, you are programmed for success. Success in the spiritual development. Success financially. Success spiritually. Success all around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Your children are programmed for success. Good success. For this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein. Day and night you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. Joshua 1 verse 8. Good success is your portion. Refuse to be moved by your environment. Refuse to be moved by your experience. The word of God is higher than your experience. Say, whenever this thing happens, whenever I see the blood, I know I have miscarriage. Whenever I see blood in my dream, I have miscarriage. You are the one giving that power to the devil. How can you say you have miscarriage because you saw blood? Who told you it's miscarriage? Oh, my, my sister. Oh, my sister. Oh, don't behave like those of the old. Don't behave like Adam and Eve. God said, who told you you are naked? Who told you you have, who told you that you have miscarriage? Who told you you saw a dream of blood? You say, that's come again, that's happened again. Oh, why do you judge based on your experience and understanding? That dream is a chaff. Anytime I dream like this, I will become broke. Why are you saying that? Can't you use that same mouth and say this dream? You have no power over me. I am a success in the name of Jesus. In the same mouth. Who told you that you are broke? Your bank account does not determine your status. Who told you that you are going backward? Who told you? The word of God didn't tell you that. Say, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. That's the advice from the divine. That's the advice from the throne. For you, you are the device of God. If I will call you a device. You are the creature of God. Your manual is the Bible. The way your, your phone manual is given to you. The Bible is the human manual. 
when you follow that human manual, your life will move from glory to glory. Oh, I pray for you. Your eyes of understanding be enlightened. Your heart be imparted with divine knowledge that will cause you to see in the realms of the spirit and to be transformed in the very image of him who was and is and is to come. That is your lot and your portion. For the lines are falling before you in places and places. You have good heritage. Fear not, little flock. For I am with you. The shout of the king is among us. Oh, the Lord roars in Zion. His voice is heard in Jerusalem. Fear not, little flock. For the mighty one is with thee. Congratulations. Go ahead and tell yourself congratulations. You are moving forward. You are making progress. The doors are opening for you. Favor upon you. You cannot but be favored. Hallelujah. I'm favored daily. You are favored daily. Don't judge yourself by your dream. Judge yourself by the word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. See you on Sunday. I love you all. Bye for now. I have to leave right now. God bless you really good. Enjoy your day. Take notes. The dream is chaff. Compare the word of God. The word of God is wheat. Congratulations. Bye. I love you all.